What you eat at school and at home can help you have all the energy you need to do well in class and to run around with your friends at playtime. Your school food is changing. There'll be lots more healthy choices to keep you fit and well. On the menu in today's programme, we take a look at three schools where healthy food is already a big hit. Right. Go. We go to Nottingham to see children getting creative in the kitchen. To Birmingham to see how these fun characters are bringing healthy eating to life. And to this school in London, where children are using language to learn about good food. At St Peter's Primary School in the village of East Bridgeford near Nottingham, the pupils learn about healthy food and where it comes from. Children grow their own vegetables in the school garden and this year three class are on a visit to a local farm shop to learn about the food in their area. Does anybody want to taste some cheese? Me! We've got a local silk. Who likes cream? Who likes fruit? Me! This here is a Bramley apple and it's a cooking apple. That's a lamb's heart. Mm. And that one's... An ox heart. What's well, an ox? That's where we get our beef from. Having local food is so important because fruit and the vegetables is nice and fresh and crisp when it gets to us and we know where it's come from. Back at school, these Year One children are meeting some local pensioners who come to St Peter's every Wednesday for a lunch club where they enjoy healthy school meals. This week, the children are planning to make them a special fruit salad. I like pears. Mm, I think that's my favourite. And banana. So, which one would you like the most? In the melon. Right, we found out what the ladies would like in their fruit salad. Can anybody tell me on their questionnaire which fruits came out popular than others? Um, everyone wanted kiwi fruit. Everybody wanted kiwi yeah. fruit? Wow! And now they have all the information, it's back to class to have fun with fruit. And a chance to taste some new fruits for themselves. If you don't like it, that's fine, but I always say try before you say you don't like it. You can try the apple. I like it. What does it taste like? It's sweet. A pomegranate. Look at that lovely richness. Let me get some of these seeds out. What do you think of that? No. <laughs> that face says all, oh, Rebecca. I'm going to put a few blueberries in our fruit salad and let's see if the ladies noticed, because a couple of them did like blueberries. The children are also learning about why fruit is good for you. Some people don't like the skin, but you know what? A lot of the vitamins are in the skin of fruit. It looks delicious and full of goodness and ready right on cue as it's lunchtime for the rest of the school and the lunch club ladies. The children have all made it, yes, this morning. Good girl, well done. What did you think of the fruit salad? I liked it very much, thank you. Even the blueberries go down well. First time I've ever had any blueberries. <laughs> Do you like them? Well, that tops off a delicious school meal. Wonderful. Much better than when we were at school. <laughs> and the children can now enjoy it too. I like school dinners because Really tasty. They made me see in the dark, and they're healthy. They've got very healthy puddings. There's bananas, there's apples, oranges, and mixed fruit. These children know that eating well helps to give you all the energy you need for whatever you want to do for the rest of your life. It's fun to grow your own vegetables at school and it's fun to share it with your class.
Sometimes it can be hard to know what foods are good for you and what foods aren't. At St Gregory's Catholic Primary School in Smethwick in the West Midlands, they've come up with a clever way of learning about food. And it's fun too. Meet the Fab Food Team. These are our characters what we use at school to help us learn about healthy eating and we think they're great. This one is broccoli bush and it's a no fruit and veg group. This is Charles Chickens and he belongs to the protein group. Don't have too much of him because he'll make you obese. The Fab Food Team are a group of cartoon characters and together this cheeky gang represent the five food groups. Okay, and what we try and do is eat as many of these food groups as we can, all right, in order for us to have what we call a balanced diet. The characters were designed by pupils from the school a year ago and help children learn facts about food. The fruit and vegetable group. We will keep you healthy. We will give you vitamin C and fibre. Eat at least five of me a day. The fat and sugar group. We may look and taste good, but don't be fooled, as we're full of fat and sugar, so stay away from us, even though you can't resist it. Today, these Year 6 children are using the characters to help them put together a healthy lunchbox. We're making wraps and we're putting tomato, ham, chicken, tuna and cucumber. They fill up the boxes with tasty food and have made up their own slogans for each character. It says on here, for broccoli bush, I contain lots of vitamins, eat me. For dairy, I put, I, I belong to the dairy group. If you eat me, I will give you strong teeth and bones. And the fab food team is a big hit. I think Mimi Milk is the best. You know that she's going to be strong and she looks good to drink. And it, the milk really tastes nice. I like broccoli but Like Charles chicken, it's really, really healthy because it makes you get strong. I think it's a really good idea because it helps you to learn more and the food characters tell you how you should learn to eat more healthy foods. You should eat fruit, veg, protein, carbohydrates, everything. So you should have a limited amount of chocolate. The characters can be found all over the school and they help pupils to choose the right foods at break time and at lunchtime. So we have them spread about the dinner hall and they, there's a little sheet that tells you what is in that food group. Today for lunch I had some fish fingers, um, jacket potato and um, broccoli. Yogurt! In fact, the Fab Food Team has proved so popular that they are even popping up in other places now. We're in front of the shop, which has got the food characters on that we designed. It's just like an example to children, so that they could just like look at what's important. With all these characters up here, it kind of encourages you to buy healthy stuff. I look good Great. in the yeah. shop. With the help of Fishy Frank, Orange Peel and their friends, children in Sandwell are becoming healthier than ever. They're nice. Mm. 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 And also mm. <laughs> Ask your school cook if there is a new food and ask if you can try some. Go on, and you might like it. Learning how to stay fit and well is very important to pupils at Childs Hill Primary School in North London. Children are taught about healthy eating in lots of different ways across the curriculum. This class are getting involved with a competition called Pound a Poem. This morning we are going to start to think about how we can use these fruits to write a poem, OK? For every poem a child writes about healthy eating, a pound is given to charity to help fight cancer. And the best poems go into a national competition. 
Okay, guys, so the first thing that we're going to focus on is the texture of the strawberry. What does the word texture mean? Hayley. It's what it feels like. It's what it feels like. Good girl. So how does it feel on the outside? Spiky. Spiky is a lovely word. Good boy. What's it spiky like? Tara. A hedgehog. A hedgehog. That's a lovely description. And there's even a chance to taste the fruit. Really sour. Yeah. And um, it's really juicy. It's quite sweet. Yeah. And you can taste the seeds are crunchy. And now it's time for these budding poets to look at all sorts of different fruit and get writing. The children have come up with some fantastic poems. On the outside, the kiwi is hairy like a tiger. On the inside, it's as green as the briest grass. When I tasted it, it was bursting with juice. Pupils at Child's Hill don't just write about food, they make it too. For many well, children school, here, English isn't their first language. There are 22 different languages spoken at the school. And in the kids' kitchen, food is a way to learn new words. Some sweet corn and some peas. Excellent. Today, these children are making vegetable soup. They've come to their local shop to buy all the ingredients they need. OK, Nathan, what's your picture? What are you looking for? Peppers. Let me see. I think I found them. Oh, well done. How many is in that? Have a look along the top. Excellent. It's green. This one is carrots. Which word is this? This one, sweetie. Carrots. Check. Check. Celery. Check. Check. Peppers. Check. Check. Onions. Check. Check. Mushrooms. Check. So they've got all the healthy vegetables. It's back to school to get cooking. We've got all of our ingredients. We're ready to go. So all this is healthy. It's all good, isn't it? <laughs> it's not quite ready yet. It looks like a tasty soup. The children have learnt all about how vegetables are a very important part of a healthy diet. Onion. And how eating them is the best bit of all. Set up your own fruit tuck shop at your school. More oily fish. Healthier drinks. Children all over the country are learning about good food in lots of fun ways. School meals are getting healthier. See if you can tell the difference when you have your lunch. You'll be getting healthier too.